In June 2021, Indiana Jones 5 started filming and fans are excited to see Harrison Ford back on the big screen as Indy. After Ford suffered a shoulder injury, the movie was back in production in September 2021 with a plan to be released in July 2022. Although it was confirmed that the release date had been delayed to June 2023, James Mangold intends to make sure it's worth the wait. The fifth installment is expected to be released in 2023, 15 years after its predecessor. In 2008, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull came out with plans for the next installment to feature time travel components. But because of the delays in the production, some aspects of the movie didn't go as planned, including Ford's involvement in the franchise. The fifth installment will be directed by James Mangold, and Harrison Ford will be reprising his role as Dr. Henry Jones, a world-famous archaeologist. Mads Mikkelsen, Boyd Holbrook, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, and Antonia Banderas will join him on the long-awaited adventure. After all, having James Mangold in the director's chair instead of Spielberg might not be a bad idea. The Logan director certainly knows a thing or two about directing aging action heroes. Also, Spielberg may produce the movie, so he could keep an eye on the project. David Kep, the movie's screenwriter, was also replaced by Jonathan Kasdan, Solo, A Star Wars Story, which delayed the production process for another year. Marshall posted a photo of a sign at the Pinewood Studios. The text on the sign reads, Home Stretch along with an Indiana Jones hashtag, so everyone has a clue about which movie he's talking about. Whoever returns the skull to the city temple will be given control over its power. Finally, the production of Indiana Jones 5 has ended since the filming started back in June 2021 and wrapped up on February 26, 2022. Firstly, the movie was shot in the UK and then in many locations around the world, including Italy and Morocco. Harrison Ford had one rule for doing the movie, which he specified in a 2008 interview while on a press tour for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Ford stated in the interview that as long as it doesn't take 20 years for the fifth installment, he wouldn't mind returning to the franchise. Since Indiana Jones 5 is expected to be released on June 30, 2023, which is 15 years after Indy's last crusade, Ford's expiration date was close to being surpassed. Ford kept his word to smash that long button. No, I mean he kept his word despite all the complications while filming which only proves that his involvement in the film was inevitable since he's also the star of the franchise. As I already mentioned, Indiana Jones 5 is set to arrive in the movie theaters on June 30, 2023, after many delays which postponed the release date. As we mentioned earlier, the movie was supposed to have its premiere in July 2019, but was pulled back to July 10, 2020. Then it was shifted back by Disney for another year to July 19, 2021, and once again to July 29, 2022. As of today, the final release date is set for June 30, 2023. Since Disney had to move it back along with other movies, it was also confirmed by Disney that Ford had a shoulder injury while practicing a fight scene on set. Get back! Luckily, Ford quickly recovered and as of September 8th, was back on set. Meanwhile, Mangold cleared all the rumors suggesting that the filming has been shut down and revealed on Twitter that the shooting will be completed by January 2021. Since the movie had more time until the release date set for June 2023, there will be more time for post-production and maybe some reshoots, which are usually needed in most blockbuster productions. It will be no surprise to hear that Harrison Ford will be returning to his title role once more for Indiana Jones 5. Frank Marshall, the producer, also stated that there won't be a recast for the role in the new movie. That's some good news since no one can play Indiana Jones except Ford who has said, When I'm gone, he's gone. It's easy. Get it in your head. The female lead will be played by Phoebe Waller-Bridge as she's revealed her first look in the movie. Mads Mikkelsen will be joining her along with Marvel star Thomas Kretschmann and the Predator star Boyd Holbrook. For now, we don't have many details about their characters, but Mikkelsen has hinted that the script was everything he wished it to be. I do think I'm invited in to create a character. I think that everybody wants that. He said. It has been confirmed that Antonio Banderas and Toby Jones will be part of the cast in the fifth installment. The roles of the other newcomers have been kept a secret. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps, perhaps not. A new score for the movie will be composed by the legendary John Williams, who will be back after 40 years when he started with Raiders of the Lost Ark. After his appearances in Raiders of the Lost Ark and Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, John Reese davies expressed his desire to return in Indiana Jones 5. Marion Ravenwood, who played Indy's romantic interest in Raiders and Crystal Skull, won't be back in the upcoming film. When Indiana Jones 5 was officially announced in 2016, Karen Allen wasn't contacted, even though she was involved in the early stages of the movie. 
But does it mean that she's not coming back? Many things have changed since 2016, and she also revealed that she wants to learn more about Marion's story. In 2017, Jim Broadbent, the star of Crystal Skull, expressed his wish to return to the role of Charles Stanforth. Something that caught us by surprise was that Star Wars actor Mark Hamill could be the possible villain in the new movie, which is something we'd love to see. The story details about Indy's adventure are being kept secret for now, although there was a leaked filming video which shows that Indy will once more go head-to-head -head with Nazis in the fifth installment. It's uncertain whether the video is a flashback sequence or whether the Nazis are the main villains in the movie. There was also a time travel tease with a set photo. So much information was revealed by Disney for all the fans of Pixar, Marvel Studios, Disney Animation, and Lucas Films. Although most of the information is available to the public, some of the footage and trailers were showcased at a private screening to the D23 viewers, and the trailer of Indiana Jones was one of them. Although the trailer has finally been leaked, the quality of it is not what fans expect. But it certainly has a thrilling and nostalgic vibe to it. It also features some returning characters as well as newcomers promising an exciting ride for the fans. So, we will do this old-fashioned way. In the trailer, we see the sun shining over a ghost town, and after that, a rickshaw chase can be seen on the street. Indy, Ford, is walking through a bridge and then running across the top of a train, chasing a motorcycle or a plane, riding a horse and more. There are so many chasing sequences in the exciting first look, as well as flashbacks of a younger Indy, and at least one main character reprisal. In the footage, Sala, portrayed by John Reese davies also appears. At last, the relationship between Waller Bridges, Helena, and Indiana Jones is clarified after it's revealed that she is his goddaughter. Ford turns out to be the big hero as he grabs his hat and leans into a motorcycle sidecar while being in charge in a room filled with heavy armed men. I've come to believe that it's not so much what you believe, it's how hard you believe, he says in a voiceover before the trailer ends. The movie will most likely take place in 1969 since in the set photos, Waller Bridge is seen wearing a late 60s, early 70s costume. But there's no doubt that more details will be available soon. So smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell if you want to learn more about the story and the movie's timeline. After you waited for so long, I'm sure you wouldn't mind waiting a bit more to see Indiana Jones in his true light as we all know him and love. You'll love these videos next.